Welcome back to another segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to speak about an episode from season eight, the one that introduced Aunt Rose and her grandchildren, Jeffrey and Serena. This is the kinfolk. If you're enjoying these, please do hit like and subscribe. I've been asked a number of times about why was Olivia's family not mentioned much. We talk a lot about and see a number of relatives of John's, but not so much Olivia's. In this case, Cousin Rose is a relative of Olivia's and someone that she knew from her childhood. So we are introduced to Cousin Rose, played by the wonderful Peggy Ray. Peggy Ray was an absolute delight to work with. She was kind and generous and, and very outgoing, had a wonderful sense of humor, just a lovely, lovely woman and, and just so nice to be around. So it was a real joy to have her join the cast. And then Serena was played by Martha Nix and Jeffrey was played by Keith Coogan. Um, and Keith Coogan is the grandson of Jackie Coogan for whom the Coogan Law was enacted. Jackie Coogan, of course, being a very famous child actor whose parents basically spent all of his money and when he was older, he didn't have any of that. So laws were enacted to protect a certain amount of a child's wages for that child to have when they grow up. So um, he comes from quite a lineage. In this particular case, early in his career, he went by Keith Mitchell. So that's what you will see in the credits there. But then he changed it to Coogan in honor of his family. Uh, so it was fun for us. Martha and, and Keith were, were a lot of fun. They were sweet. Um, it was an interesting dynamic. I know they were looking to, I think, bring more children in because we were all grown up. And I think they were thinking that I mean, early in, in the series, of course, a lot of the charm was all these young children. And then we had all grown up. So I think, uh, and and although I had John Curtis and then Ben and Cindy had, had um, their children, they weren't really old enough to have storylines. So I think they had hoped to bring in some children to bring that dynamic back in. But I don't know how well it worked. And I don't know how much you as an audience gravitated to these new young children that were brought in this late into the arena. But um, I thought they were good little actors and certainly um, it was fun to have them around. I was hoping to be able to connect with Martha and Keith to join me at some point. And so I had been delaying doing this segment because we were trying to coordinate schedules, but it just hasn't worked out at this point. So I thought I'd go ahead and share the episode for now. And hopefully at some point in the future, Martha and Keith will be available to join me. A couple of the storylines going on in this episode. Uh, Jim Bob and Ike are working on secret government stuff. Basically, uh, they have been sent an air raid siren to construct around the area. Um, and, they, and they do that. And then, of course, we deal with the arrival of Aunt Rose and our cousins Jeffrey and Serena, and they are they are struggling. Um, and Jeffrey's very belligerent. He talks back to John a lot. He gets very attached to this chicken that he carries around with him all the time. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of scenes with Jeffrey and the chicken. He tries to hypnotize it at one point. He takes it with him when he sneaks into Jim Bob's car at one point, and and. Jim Bob gets in the car not knowing Jeffrey's in there and Jeffrey finds out about the air raid siren and then later goes back and turns it on to see it. A typical little boy, let me see if it works. you know. So he turns on the air raid siren and causes all kinds of upset. He, he gets into Cindy's car and decides he's gonna drive it and drives it right into the garden. Not the first time a car was driven into that garden. Um, and I love John and, and Ben come running out from the mill and I love how Ralph grabs a chicken and tosses the chicken aside. Um, and then Serena, Serena's getting into her own kind of trouble. She steals perfume from Ike Godsey's store. She steals a brooch from Cindy. So they're both exhibiting just 
you know, behavior that, that has Rose very concerned and the family very concerned. So um, there's, there's a lot going on with these children. Jeffrey's behavior becomes dangerous when he is experimenting with smoking. He's found smoking in the smokehouse. I guess the smokehouse is a good place to be smoking if you're gonna be smoking, but not what the smokehouse was designed for. And then later in the episode, he is in the mill after being warned to be careful in the mill and he is trying to smoke in the mill, starts a fire and is very nearly injured in that fire. Um, at that point, it is discovered um, that he has bruises on his back and the nightmares that, uh, that he's been experiencing that Rose has talked about and, and others in the family have, have learned of are a result of abuse from his father. So we find out the, the dark dynamics of this family and why Rose has brought the children and basically run away with them, taken them to protect them from their father, who is a lovely man, except when he drinks. So there are things to be worked through in the family. And for now, they will stay with the Waltons where they are safe and where we can certainly use Aunt Rose. She's very helpful around the house. So we have new family members for a period of time. I believe the influence of being at the Walton house, feeling for the children, they, they now feel safe, secure, that they're not going to have to move on right away, that they're in an environment where they won't be physically abused. All of this, I think, does wonders for them and for Rose feeling that her children are safe. So, um, again, the Waltons are able to have a positive influence on someone else's life. Something that was a typical theme for our show and I think a good one. Nice to exemplify that helping others and, and being there to support them through difficult times was really a key theme of the Waltons and one I think we were all very proud of. That's what I have for you for this segment of Behind the Scenes of the Waltons, the episode that introduced Rose and Jeffrey and Serena. I will be back with more Behind the Scenes of the Waltons and more of your questions in a segment of Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.